Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer and play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be role-playing the Silver Shroud. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is go to our Pip-Boy. Also, I made sure to put on the Silver Shroud quest. Be sure to do the same. We're going to go over to our radio stations. And we're going to turn on the Silver Shroud radio. Calling all Silver Shroud fans, a once-in-a-lifetime announcement. The Silver Shroud returns and he's gonna clean up the streets. Everyone heard how Wayne Delancey m murdered Miss Selmy and her kid over a few lousy caps. Death is coming for you, Wayne. Galaxy News Radio. Let's go find Wayne Delancey. Almost went the wrong way. He's right back over here. So here's the memory den. We're going to go in the alley right next to it. What's with the fancy duds? Looks expensive. Might be I found a new friend. Your crimes have gone unpunished for too long what the hell's wrong with you well nothing a few bullets won't cure you mess with me you're dead be sure to hit triangle y or whatever i think it's q on the pc for the calling card more sturdy armor let's go ahead and go back into our pit boy and we are going to put on the silver shroud radio again galaxy news radio friend of the show jerry is here is this thing on hello hello it's on We're recording in here. Aw, oh, man. Great. Great. The Silver Shroud's dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been avenged. Shit, the Shroud off Wayne? Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Oh, you better believe it. So, Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So, AJ, you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. Says he's got a whole new market. Kids. Even with his garbage chems, he's just raking in the caps. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids, and his chems have killed people. And? I don't get it. We can't let AJ kill kids. Whatever. Galaxy News Radio. Let's go take out AJ. He's going to be down another alleyway just over here. In case you're wondering, the Diamond City radio signal comes in loud and clear. Hey there. Hey, AJ's connected look at the clown. Friends. This is my don't turf, clown. Sap. And I don't appreciate what you call them trespasses. 
peddling poison to kids, are we? Today, you face the Silver Shroud. Uh, <laughs> who you say? Oh, for Christ's sake. Did Kent put you up to this? He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. I'll pay you, let's say, 50 caps just to shut up about it. And uh, maybe get Kent off my back, all right? Stop selling to children, a miscreant, or face my wrath. Screw you. Waste the free. Oh, it. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and put another calling card on AJ. Now let's go back to our pit boy. We're going to turn on the Silver Shroud radio again. Galaxy News Radio. The Silver Shroud's bringing justice to good neighbor. You bad guys better look out. And now a special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel Charlie. The Shroud's sure to interrogate him to find the evildoer's whereabouts. Galaxy News Radio. Entertainments down the stairs. I love the third rail. The music, the environment, everything looks so cool. What? Another one of you perks looking for McCoy? Charlie. Make way for paying customers. You look like one of them wankers from the posters. What you wearing that for? You look upon the silver shroud. I seek a miscreant named Kendra. The shroud, then? Well, I'm nothing. Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found face down in a ditch. If you're set on meeting her, for a fee it can be arranged. It is not wise to stand between the silver shroud and righteous justice. <laughs> justice? <laughs> You mean to end her? In that case, her flat's just south of Good Neighbor. Water Street Apartments. Look out for the blighters she's got with her. Nasty piece of business, then. Good luck. Now, because we went into the third rail and heard her singing, You'll be able to hear music that she sings on um, Diamond City Radio. Sorry, I had to think about what radio station at first. We're going to come out here. We're going to crouch. Engaging hostile platform. Attacking enemy. We're gonna be taking a left over here. Just be really careful. There's a lot of enemies over here. Or don't, I don't know. Kill them all if you want. I'm gonna be sneaky and not kill everybody just because I want to save some time. We're gonna come up over here. Should have a couple of raiders over here, but nothing that we can't handle. We're going to jump over. Oh. 
I don't think there's anybody else over here. Let's go take this elevator down. We're going to heal ourselves. Going down. You feel that? It's called fear. Shit! Lost him! Be really careful, we have some landmines or frag mines right here. I don't know why I keep wanting to call them landmines, but I don't know. Let's talk to Kendra. You must be Kendra. And you, you're the crazy one in the costume. Wayne Delancey's killer. You have no idea who you're dealing with. I do so like it when the little bug crawls willingly into the spider's webs. You have taken your last life, villain. You stole my line. <laughs> Wayne will be avenged. If you want to pick up the contract for Shelly Tiller, you can. I'm not going to bother with any of that. You can get a few caps for doing it, though. Grab this sturdy combat armor, though. That I will do. And don't forget to leave the calling card, as usual. Now we can go downstairs. Ooh, I took a lot of damage. I was not paying attention to my health. I could have very well died fighting Kendra. We're going to take the elevator back up. We're going to crouch. Going up. Third floor. Just a heads up for everybody. Oh, after we take out these raiders. Legendary raider. Awesome possum. Uh, just a heads up for everybody. To be able to get the dialogue for um, the Silver Shroud, you have to make sure that you're not in the uh, Pip-Boy. You have to go out of the Pip-Boy and then... Um, he'll start talking to you and, and letting you know what you need to do because there's been times where I forget to do that and I'm just in the pit boy and I'm like, why am I listening to the silver shroud right now? I just want to do the quest. So yeah, I just figured I'd let everybody know that. We got some disciples armor. That's pretty cool. I like the disciples in the Nuka world DLC. Although, a lot of times, I don't uh, do the evil portion of all that. Just because I feel like it's kind of just tacked on very lazily. I do like Nuka World, but I don't like the uh, Raider aspect to it. Because I feel like if, if you're going to be evil in a game, you might as well just be evil from the very start. By the time you get into Nuka World, you're like built up a settlement and everything it's just i don't know it's not implemented well i'll put it that way let's go back inside good neighbor need a place to stay try hotel rex 
And then we're going to come over here and we're going to listen to the Silver Shroud radio again. Galaxy News Radio. Another special update. No, it wasn't Bobby No-No's who offed AJ and his goons. It was the Silver Shroud. See his calling card if you don't believe me. Now's our time, listeners. Justice is coming a good neighbor. You'll see. Another headliner. Hancock seeks a special meeting with our hero, the Silver Shroud. Whatever it's about, be careful, Shroud. We're all with you. Galaxy News Radio. Let's go into the old state house. A new player and good neighbor. Hello, little pawn. Welcome to our fun Guess what game. someone tells me. Some costume freak is operating in good neighbor. And the kicker is, it ain't me. How should I feel about this? This neighborhood is ill. I am the cure. You're priceless. Like the Silver Shroud himself walked out of a comic book in the Mike Den. Just priceless. You've been busy scaring people, bashing in a few faces. I respect that, so far. But I gotta ask, one freak to another, why the getup? Many have sought to pierce the shroud to no avail. You just don't stop. Stay you, pal. The lowlifes you took out all belong to the same asshole. And that asshole's planning some old-fashioned revenge on you. You dig? Fortunate for you, I want Sinjin to take a dirt nap. He's taken two Bit Raider outfits and made them scary. Small fish now, but if left alone... He will be judged for his crimes. Trust me, he needs a lot of judging. Got a lead on two of his own, Smiling Kate and Northy. Smiley is gathering a posse to take you out. And Northy is just running scared. Hired himself some goons and is holding up in prospect. Just keep piling those body bags up until you find the location of the big guy himself. Sinjin thinks he's above judgment, but no one is safe from the Silver Shroud. Don't get killed. You deal with Sinjin, and I'm inclined to show you some gratitude. You feel me? Let's go find Northy and Smiling Kate. Heard what you did. Saved that Rex Goodman from the super mutants. Yes, not everyone appreciates the bard. Am I right? I could have handled Finn, you know. Yeah, but... We're gonna head north. Take out the mongrel dogs. Some military grade duct tape. Always good to have that. Be really careful. Once we hop down here, some ghouls are going to wake up. Should be one more. Or not. It's being a little buggy today. It's okay. Wouldn't be a Bethesda game if it wasn't. Think you can hide? Thought you could hide. Ah! Ooh. It's called shooting straight, rookie. Ah! There you are. Oh, wait, where the hell did he go? Did 
Just making sure that they don't have any sturdy combat armor. Yeah. No sturdy combat armor. That's alright. By the way, we're going to head north after coming through that raider camp. Head north. I'm going to stay crouched just in case. We're going to be heading towards Bunker Hill. You'll know Bunker Hill by the big obelisk. It's hard to miss. Although we're not going to Bunker Hill today. Just before we get to Bunker Hill, we're going to be making a left down this alleyway. Just over here. And then right in between there, we're going to hop over and listen to some dialogue. So glad you could all come out and play. And boy, do we just have the best little chew toy to sink our teeth into. The legendary Silver Shroud. Sure, the Shroud's already killed some of our best, but so what? That just makes the bounty even juicier. Pack your gear, because we're going to go a murdering soon! That was pretty easy. One grenade pretty much killed our whole crew. Oh, she's got a lot of sturdy combat armor. Go ahead and leave the calling card. And then we're going to head down west, southwest ish this alleyway and then we're gonna head south and then we're gonna head west there's a couple of mire lurks over there probably take them out fairly easily I'll just kill the ones that I see Take a right here. Shoot that light. Take out that turret. Cross the way. And then inside that door there, there's a couple of raiders. You can take a grenade. You can toss it over. Guess I'm not that good with the grenades today. Dog meat, why are you fighting? Who are you fighting? Only one of us survives this. You can go in there and explore if you want. Some loot in there for you to get. Okay, we're going to continue 
Traveling on down here. Let's take some Radex. We'll be going through some water. Oh, we got a level. Let's put a level. Kind of want to do perception. But let's start working on riflemen. Again, you don't have to follow the same path as me when leveling up. This is just what I like to do personally. So don't think if you're doing your own thing that you're doing it wrong. There's no wrong way to level your own character. We're going to be taking a left here soon. Take a left down here. It's not really a left, like a slight left. And then up here where that house is, we're going to take another left. The guy that we're going to be taking out, he's going to run from us. So be sure to get ready to chase him down. Northy likes to run. We'll worry about those guys in a minute. For now, let's just loot these guys. Or not. You came to me. I'm cool with that, homie. Let's leave our calling card. Go. We'll stand up for just a moment. You can lockpick that safe if you want. I'm really not that worried about it. <clears throat> then what we're going to do is we're going to go into our pit boy, go to the map, and we're going to fast travel over to good neighbor. Go inside the memory den. Oh, it's you. Oh, sugar. I told Kent all that hero stuff was going to get you both killed. Oh, God. Oh, God. Calm yourself. The Shroud is here to help. Please, stop. That's what got Kent into trouble in the first place. A dozen raiders barged in and snatched him. When they took him away, they left you a message. Just listen to Kent's radio station. It keeps playing it over and over again. Let's go ahead and listen to the radio. Here's a Silver Shroud update. In case you missed it, Kendra's reign of terror is over. She won't be... What? Oh, God. What's happening? On your knees, dirtbag. What? What are you doing? What? Ah! Sinjin, all clear. This is the Shroud's headquarters. So you must be the Silver Shroud's little friend. Yes. If you want to see your friend alive, Shroud, meet me at Milton General Hospital. Don't do it, Shroud. It's a trap. Save yourself. Ah! Ah! Oh my God! Do it, Shroud! Do it! On oh, my knee! Ah! Tick tock, Shroud. Don't keep me waiting. We got business that needs finishing. Here's a silver shroud up. Let's go outside the memory den. Huh? Then what we're going to do is we're going to fast travel down to the DB Technical High School. 
Don't have Let's crouch. And then we're going to head straight south. Be careful of the robot over there. The sentry bot. I was going to call it an assault tron at first, and I was like, no, that's a sentry bot. Just kind of give it a wide berth if you can. Over here, there's going to be a bunch of super mutants at Big John Salvage. So be really careful. We're going to sneak right by them. Hopefully, they don't see us. Uh, who's there? They definitely see us. Someone there? Really careful of the suicider. Ah, come out, come out, wherever you are. Just keep, just keep heading southwest here down the road. Looks like we bypassed them without too much trouble. Grab some hub flour. Take out the Mr. Gutsy. Over here, some power armor for anybody that wants power armor. Some X01 power armor at that. Pretty cool looking power armor. If I were to use power armor, that would probably be the power armor I would use. Not probably, it definitely would be. Even though the T60 looks pretty cool too. Keep heading southwest. Head straight west, and we're almost to our destination. We're going to explore all of this stuff later on. Right now, it's not really that important. We're trying to explore more of the downtown Boston area. And then right over here, we're going to hang a right, and we're going to go inside Milton General Hospital. I will see everybody inside. Let's turn on our Pip-Boy lamp. Came in here to get some of those Kims. Be sure not to trip the laser. Sorry, I didn't say that sooner.
Damn it, dog meat. Getting in the way. I want those fashionable glasses. Let's take this elevator down. Going down. Basement. Sweet. Got it. Be careful of the frag mines. What the fuck was that? Ah! Your doom. Ah! That's what it was. Just off to the right, we're going to have a turret. Just be careful of that. Just kind of looting everything I can at the moment. Grab that buff out. I just want to show everybody that you can do this. Let's see. Where are my mines? We can put a pulse grenade in there. Is it going to blow up? I thought I could. Oh, that's right. I don't have. Mm, I'm dumb. <gasps> you have to have a perk for that. I'll show everybody once I get that perk. You can place things in, well, Grenades and stuff in people's pockets and have them blow up. It's in the pickpocketing skill tree. It's pretty funny.
be going down that. We'll be going down there in a minute. I'll find you. Oh. Can't waste it. Where is dog meat? He's usually always in my way, and then when I'm over encumbered, he's like, mm, I think I'll stick back here. We'll find him this way. We'll go down here. Going down. Shroud! I want to talk with you! So what I would do is a quick save right here. Gonna say it again. Hold assholes. Anyone turns heel, I'm coming for you and your family. And you, Shroud. You step any closer, and we get to see what's inside Kent's head. You shield yourself behind an innocent. You are craven, Sinjin. And you shall fall before me. Don't talk to me like that. Some of these losers think you're some sort of legend. <laughs> like you walk straight out of a comic book. But you and I know, you're human, and you're weak. You came here, and for what? You little sidekick? I have cut a path through all your thugs. Who can truly say I'm not the Shroud? Don't listen, man. He's a phony. So what's gonna happen is this. I'm going to kill Kent. Then we're gonna shoot the hell out of you. Nothing's gonna be left but paste. Then, I'm going to good neighbor. And kill every last worthless bastard there and burn the whole thing down. No one screws with Sinjin. So I'm going to do a quick save real quick because I have been failing dialogue <laughs> checks like crazy lately. And then I'm going to do the kill me first. So I did that quick save just in case we fail this dialogue. And then if we do, I'll just do a reload. You know what would really get to Kent? Killing his friend, his hero, right in front of him. <laughs> Enjoy the show, Kent. After I'm done with the shroud, you're next. Say goodnight, Kent. <laughs> Damn it. Sucks fighting when you're over encumbered. Trying to muscle in on me? This is what you get! Don't worry, I'm coming for you. Slowly but surely, I will walk my way to you, bud. Sinjin. What badass dialogue the Silver Shroud has. Just saying. Talk to Kent. Kent. I've never been so happy to see anyone in my entire life. I'm glad I got here in time. You and me both, Shroud. But I don't know. I just give up. On all of it. Crime fighting just isn't what I thought it'd be. If you just quit, then the bad guys have already won. You... you're right. But I'm tired. I just want to go home. I'm going back to good neighbor. Really, thanks for saving me. But I'm just done. Okay, I'm going to slowly walk my happy ass <laughs> over to the start of this area, or the beginning of this area, whatever you want to call it, where we entered. Can't believe I was able to fight those guys off over encumbered. That's ridiculous. Dog meat is Going nowhere up. to be found. 
Just leaving me hanging like this. Second floor. Don't worry. We'll make it there eventually, everybody. What I'm going to do, though, is usually when you warp into a new area or anything like that uh, your companion will be right out front that's what I'm gonna do and okay so yeah we got to turn around um, that's what I'm gonna do and then I will dump all my stuff off on dog meat and we'll travel we'll fast travel not just travel but we'll fast travel back to good neighbor let's go ahead and crouch Go into our pit boy and then let's go over to good neighbor. I'll see everybody over there. Holy moly, the silver shroud in the flesh. Oh no, death is coming for me. <laughs> You ever tried chess? Sometimes you need to sacrifice a piece to keep the game going. Keep that in mind. I'm listening. The deed is done. The dreaded Sinjin breathes no more. All by your lonesome, you took down the big bad Sinjin. We get to walk that tightrope of freedom one more day. Take this for the effort. You played your part in serving justice to those most deserving of it. I'm gonna miss these little conversations. Ah, Ken, my man. Why the long face? You got what you wanted. I was t tortured. Almost died. It's not like the radio plays at all. Hey, who hasn't been tortured from time to time? The price of throwing down with the man is always a few scars. Pick yourself up. Good neighbor's just a bit safer thanks to the two of you. What would the Shroud be without his faithful friend, Red Reinhardt? This... this means a lot to me. I'm gonna need some time to heal, you know? But then I got a special project in mind, just for you. I'll fire up my radio station if I make any progress. We didn't get to the top of this town by playing fair. Let's go outside real quick. So real quick, before we end the video, if you go in to your radio and turn on the Silver Shroud radio, at level 25, 35, and 45, he will upgrade the Silver Shroud costume. So right now, I believe we are level 30, 35. Okay, cool. So we'll be able to get it leveled up twice. Now, we, we don't have to keep going back to him. He'll just automatically level it up two times. And then once you're level 45, I think it's 40 or 45, one of the two, um, you'll be able to get it leveled up for the last time. Calling the Silver Shroud. Calling the Silver Shroud. I got a special delivery for you. Come see me at the memory den. Got so let's go inside the memory den and go get this Stick upgrade. Around, you'll need to join a crew. I hear Bobby No Nose is looking. Oh, I didn't notice that was the dialogue to get uh, Bobby No Nose's side quest. Oh, Kent's not here yet. Let's go ahead and wait for an hour. There's Kent. Excuse me. I've been thinking about what you and Hancock said. I've decided I can't give up, but I'm no fighter. Maybe at least I can keep tinkering, though, to try to make your shroud costume even better. Then let's do this. Let me see. 
Got a new flak jacket to put under the trench coat. Old war military issue type stuff. You just gotta see it in action. Come back later, okay? I got some more ideas. We gotta put the armor back on once he upgrades it. Which is actually better than the armor that we can get at the moment. Let's move over here just a little bit before we end the video. There we go. That's more like it. Alrighty, everybody. I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.